Reefers, I'm Daniel from Coral Us, and today is Info Wednesday. The coral of the day is the Blastomusa whale's eye, not to be confused with this little brother, the Blastomusa marletti. I want to show you guys here the skeleton of a dead coral. Now this has been out of the water, I just put it back into the water so you could see the comparison of the skeleton next to the healthy coral. When you see a coral and the tissue is all fluffy and it's filled up and it looks happy, that's a great thing. But if it looks like this coral and it's receded and it's got something wrong with it, it's probably not getting the proper flow or lighting it needs. In this case, I think it's the flow. So I did move it to the front line since it was behind another coral. That's why placement is very important and sometimes you don't even notice that a coral isn't getting what it needs so you have to pay attention to your coral's health and this is what I want to try to explain to you guys. How to read your corals and anticipate coral damage before it's too late so you can move it or give it what it needs before you lose the coral totally. Um, a lot of times people, they don't even know what they're looking at. I've seen people go up to the dead, the worst looking coral, it's bare skeleton and they ask how much is this pretty coral. So I would never sell anyone a dead coral or a dying coral and that's what I want to prepare you guys for. So if you're at a local fish store and you see a coral and I want to warn you guys before you take that thing home what to stay away from. And picking out a healthy coral is one of the best things you could do to assure that that coral is going to stay healthy and you're going to have success with it. A lot of people like to get corals that are damaged to bring them back to health and that's great with SPS. They're a lot easier to deal with. They can grow from smaller frags. But if you have a polyp and half of it is damaged, it makes it a lot harder to bring that back. So this is an LPS coral. It's a large polyp stony coral. And you can see in the skeleton, the ridges right here um, are where it gets its name from the hard stony coral. Now compare this to the coral next to it and just look at the tissue. Now you can see which coral right away you want to buy. Minus the color and the pattern, you're going for health here. So when you look for a coral, look for polyp extension, tissue, uh, engorged polyps, all these different things are signs of health. So this is just a quick tip for you guys. Please leave your questions or comments below. I'm here for you. As always, thanks for watching and happy reefing.